Mr Speaker, we are on the side of free media. That was why it was brilliant to see that the audience for BBC's Russian language news website has gone up from 3.1 million to 10.7 million in the last week. And despite his best efforts to censor reporting in Russia, Putin's own citizens are turning to factual, independent information in their millions. And at this point, I'd just like to offer my heartfelt thanks and admiration to all of those journalists working for the BBC. So today I am announcing that the licence fee will be frozen for the next two years. Instead, it will remain fixed at £159 until April 2024. The BBC must be a simpler, leaner organisation that offers better value to licence fee payers, and we agree with this. In the last few months, I've made it clear that the BBC needs to address issues around impartiality and groupthink. But the BBC now needs to put those words into action. It needs to convince the British public that those changes are in fact being made and to provide regular and transparent outcounts of its progress. So it's time to begin asking those really serious questions yeah, yeah, yeah. about the long-term funding model of the BBC. Yeah, yeah. A BBC that can continue to engage the British public and that commands the support from across the breadth of the UK, not just the London bubble. And now she's been the first to throw up a distraction and in finding someone else to blame for the Prime Minister's disintegrating leadership. The BBC's reporting, of course. Or is this really about their long-standing vendetta against the BBC? She has proven today the Conservatives may know the price of the licence fee, but not its value. But this isn't enough red meat for the Culture Secretary. She won't stop until her cultural vandalism has destroyed everything that's great about Britain. Vandalism is exactly what it is to tweet on a Sunday with no notice, no discussion or thought, the end to the unique funding of the BBC altogether without any clue as to what will replace it. But the government is in trouble, Mr Speaker. The Prime Minister is casting around for people to blame and the Culture Secretary has stepped up to provide some red meat. Well, it won't work. The hostility towards the BBC and its future does not stem from a desire to protect pensioners, but rather from a visceral loathing of the Prime Minister's critics. Mr Speaker, we are on the side of free media. That was why it was brilliant to see that the audience for BBC's Russian language news website has gone up from 3.1 million to 10.7 million in the last week. And despite his best efforts to censor reporting in Russia, Putin's own citizens are turning to factual, independent information in their millions. And at this point, I'd just like to offer my heartfelt thanks and admiration to all of those journalists working for the BBC, the ITV and other news outlets who are risking their lives to bring us unbiased and accurate news from a live war zone. Yeah.